Hey, what's going on guys? This is Youth Man. In this video, we're gonna be doing an unboxing as well as an overview of Marantz's brand new 11.2 channel processor, the AV7706. Now, before we dive into the unboxing, if you are passionate about home theater and you're ready to up your game, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I produce weekly content that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Well, enough talking guys, let's get to unboxing. All right, so before we get into the unboxing, I'll just kind of show you here. This AV processor has a ton of features, pretty much everything that you could imagine from 8K upscaling to 8K pass through. We've got all of the um, audio formats that are supported, Dolby Atmos, DTSX, Oro 3D, as well as IMAX Enhanced. You've got Bluetooth compatibility, a lot of streaming options, just a really, really full featured processor. Now, if you're not sure what the difference between an AVR receiver and a processor is, the biggest difference, um, and I've actually got a video I'll link in the card above on some more specifics, but the biggest difference is a processor does not have a built-in amplifier into the unit. And so you're going to need to have external amplification, which I do. So we will go ahead and jump into the unboxing here. So we've got our remote control. So pretty much standard there. Nothing fancy. Got some paperwork. Inside here we've got antennas for Wi-Fi, AM, FM, as well as some really cool labels. Now I always love when Denon and Marantz include these so these can be added to your cables since you've got a lot of connections and just allows you to to be able to easily identify which cable is supposed to go to where when you're connecting external amplifiers and such. Here we have the good old rocket ship. So basically this is a, um, a stand for the calibration microphone. So I have a regular tripod stand that I utilize, but if you don't, the good thing is they do include this. You can assemble this and then use that to calibrate your setup. A couple of AAA batteries the Odyssey calibration microphone, and a two-prong power cable. Now I've owned a few Marantz products over the years. I've started off with the Marantz SR8012, which was an AVR receiver, and then I later upgraded to the current AV7705 that I'm using in my theater room now. And then this is the AV7706 that will replace the 7705 series. Now, one thing I've really have enjoyed with Marantz products is really the biggest benefit is just reliability. I've had no issues with either one of the Marantz units that I have owned. Um, and then the other thing is just the sound quality. They sound great for home theater, but also for two channel music. And Marantz is kind of known for that musicality. Taking a look at the front of the unit, we've got a really sleek, stylish look with a matte black over here on the sides, and then this brushed aluminum across the middle section. Top left, we have our input selector. Over to the far right is our volume knob, and then our power button down at the bottom left. Dead center, we've got the classic Marantz porthole, which has some really limited um, display information, but pressing the bottom of this door reveals a larger display, as well as additional controls. Behind this access panel, you can also see at the very bottom, we've got various inputs, such as for headphones, the calibration microphone, a USB, HDMI, as well as some legacy analog connections. Now this processor has eight HDMI inputs, so we see seven along the back, as well as one on the front. Now the only one that is 8K is this seventh input here. Now that'll accept up to 4K, 120 as well as 8K60. The rest of the HDMI inputs will handle up to 4K60. Up in the top right, we do have three HDMI outputs, one of which is 8K compliant and also has EARC and ARC. Now ARC stands for Audio Return Channel and EARC stands for Enhanced Audio Return Channel. So what this allows you to do is if you use the EARC HDMI output from the AV7706 to your TV when you're watching content on your TV that has high resolution audio, you'll be able to send that high resolution audio from your TV back to the processor 
and then out from there to your speakers. Now in the middle, you do have a lot of the legacy formats such as RCA inputs and outputs. So if you need those, that's good to have. We also have two trigger outputs, which is great because we're going to be connecting this processor to at least one external amplifier. And so what happens is when you have this connected to your amplifier, when this unit turns on, your amplifier turns on and vice versa. And down at the bottom, we do have balanced XLR outputs for all 11 channels plus two subwoofers. And if your amplifier does not have XLR balanced inputs, you can always use the unbalanced RCA outputs from the AV7706. Now I'm not going to do a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to set up the AV7706 because I've got previous videos on the SR8012, the SR8015, as well as the AV7705 that have um, a walkthrough on that, as well as a dedicated video on how to set up Odyssey. So if you're interested in that, you can check out a link right up here in the card above to the Odyssey video, and I'll leave a couple of other videos down in the description below. Now I've had the SR8015 in my setup for the past month or so, and so I'll be doing a full review of that very soon, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I'll also be doing a full review of the AV7706, probably in about three to four weeks. Now before I wrap up the video, I do wanna tell you about an exciting giveaway that I'll be doing in the month of December called the 12 Days of Christmas. And so in the month of December, I'll be giving away four DTS demo discs. I'll be giving away four Oro 3 demo disc, as well as four different HDMI cables from Monoprice. Now these HDMI cables, some of them are fiber optic, some of them are 8K, and some of them are 4K cables. So here's the way it's going to work. I've already announced over on Patreon a link to the giveaway. All my patrons get about a week's additional notice with daily entries over on Patreon. But then a week later, which will be on the 14th of December, just in a few days, I'll send an email out to everyone that's on my Youthman newsletter. So if you're not um, a part of the Youthman newsletter, make sure you head over to youthmanreviews.com, click on the newsletter tab up top, or you can go to youthmanreviews.com slash newsletter, sign up for the newsletter. I'll never spam you guys. I just uh, try to keep you in touch with what's going on with the channel, new products that I'm reviewing, things that I'm learning in the industry, and just so that you can kind of be aware of those things. And so once you subscribe to that, I'll send out an email on the 14th of December with a link to the giveaway. And then you'll have up until Christmas, uh, probably Christmas Eve, I think is when it ends. And then on Christmas day is when I'll announce the 12 winners. Now I've got a bunch of gear in for review. So I'll be doing more videos this coming week. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on them. And as always, you guys be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video.